If you don't want to worry about application tracking systems and ensure that you get an interview, be sure to check out the Paper Moon link in the description and use the promo code STACKER to get 20% off of their resume template kit. Did you know that not all resumes are created equal? Do you think that an actual person sits down and looks through every resume that gets submitted? That's what I thought until I started to do some research. Shout out to Nick White who did a video on this recently too. The link to his channel is in the description. Now, are you spamming your resume all over the place and not getting any responses? Here's why. There's this thing called an application tracking system. There are so many applications coming into these companies that recruiters can't keep up. So your resume is most likely getting passed through an ATS before it's ever seen by any human. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about application tracking systems and how you can get your resume passed to them. What is an ATS? Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and just about every large company uses an application tracking system. It's a software that parses or scrapes your resume and helps recruiters and hiring managers to organize and manage applicants. That sounds like a good thing, but it also filters out what it thinks are unqualified applicants. In fact, more than 75% of applications get discarded before getting to recruiters. And you could get filtered out even if you are qualified. Let me tell you why. But really quick, like this video and subscribe. It helps me out. There are several different application tracking systems that are used. A few of the top ones are Talio, Workday, and Greenhouse. The ATS parses or scrapes your resume and stores what it deems as relevant data in a database. That data can then be used to figure out what your qualifications, work experience, and skills are. Some systems even give applicants a ranking score. They attempt to compare your resume and the job description and rank how qualified it thinks you are. The recruiter will then use those rankings to make decisions on who to interview. It uses something called natural language processing to figure this out. Now, another way that the data can be used is by searching for applicants based on keywords. If certain keywords are missing from your resume, your name's not going to pop up. Also, the amount of times the keyword appears on your resume is important. Important keywords should appear on your resume two to three times. This will rank you higher for those keywords. Now, of course, make sure that the placement of the keywords makes sense because once you get past the ATS, your resume will be read by a human. How do you know what keywords to use? Well, the easiest way is by using a word cloud. I got this tip from Self Made Millennial. Link to her channel is in the description. So I went to indeed.com and picked a random JavaScript posting. Then I selected all of the details and copied that. Next, I went to a word cloud generator. Again, the link will be in the description. And I pasted that job description. Now you can easily pick out the main keywords for this job posting and customize your resume to match where applicable. Another issue with resumes is the way that they're formatted. Every resume is formatted differently. And if your resume is really fancy with tables, graphs, and images, the ATS may misinterpret the information and miscategorize your data, or worse, deem you as unqualified for a position that you are qualified for. Application tracking systems cannot see information in headers and footers either. So never put important information in these sections or just don't use them. If you do use headers and footers, you could include images and graphics in that section if you want humans to see that, but it's definitely not necessary. Dates are another issue. Again, assume that humans are not reading your resume at first. The system needs to understand it. So be sure to include timeframes for your job experience. Use year and month formats. Special characters can also cause problems for the ATS. This can include accents. So if your name is Mateo, it might get parsed as Matthew. So just avoid using special characters. How can you ensure that you get past the system? Well, you need to make sure that your resume contains keywords found in the job description. As long as they align with the truth, don't lie about anything. Include the top keywords two to three times. So you really need to customize or tune each resume to align with the job description of the position that you're applying for. This is for sure going to take more time, but you'll be more likely to pass the ATS. Now, if you use acronyms, be sure to include the long version and then the acronym in parentheses. So search engine optimization, parentheses, SEO. And don't use tables or crazy graphics or fancy fonts. This can confuse the ATS. Also, don't use headers and footers like we mentioned. That information may not get parsed correctly. 
and save your resume as either a doc or docx if possible. That will help the parser. And now if you want to see how your resume will do in an ATS, go to jobscan.co. You can upload your resume and the job description, and then it will scan your resume and give you a score and feedback. This is a great tool. Now, if you don't want to worry about application tracking systems and ensure that you get an interview, use the Paper Moon link in the description to get their CS resume template kit. The first 200 that use the promo code STACKER will get 20% off of their resume bundle. Paper Moon has proven ATS filter passing resumes. You're going to get perfectly formatted, clean resumes, and over 100 technical recruiters have recommended this company. You'll also get access to examples of actual resumes that have landed top tech interviews to find out exactly what recruiters want to see. And these have landed interviews at Google, Facebook, Netflix, Microsoft, Airbnb, Amazon, and so many more top tech companies. You'll also get exclusive access to a recruiter contact list. This list has over 1,000 technical recruiters at all of the top tech companies. And that's not all. You'll also get a job application tracking sheet and lifetime free updates. And I think that this product is well worth the money, and that's why I've partnered with Paper Moon. And give me some feedback. If you receive an interview after using this product, let me know. I hope this has been helpful. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.